From this perspective, we can get a better view of the cruciate ligaments. The knee joint has been bent. If we zoom in, we can get a better view of the cruciate ligaments. You can see in the front right over here, we have the anterior cruciate ligament. And you can see back over here, this would be the posterior cruciate ligament. Again, we have the anterior cruciate ligament attaching to the anterior part of the tibia. Back over here, we have the posterior cruciate ligament. And here we can see the lateral and the medial menisci. Now these are pads, the menisci are pads of fibrocartilage and you can see they have a C shape to them. They are going to help stabilize the knee joint and allow for a continuous surface on which these smooth articular surfaces are going to ride. The menisci are held in position by ligaments which you can see over here, an example of. And again we have our for orientation purposes, this is, would be our lateral collateral ligament on the lateral side, and here is our medial collateral ligament on the medial side. So this would be the medial meniscus, and this would be the lateral meniscus. Here is a view of the posterior side of the knee joint, and you can better see the posterior cruciate ligament right over here. And right over here, is the anterior cruciate ligament. So here's the anterior cruciate ligament, here's the posterior cruciate ligament. Some other structures just to review include the medial meniscus, the lateral meniscus. You can see a ligament going from the lateral meniscus over here to the femur. The lateral condyle of the femur, the medial condyle of the femur. Here is the tibia, and right over here is the head of the fibula and we can zoom out and here would be the lateral collateral ligament or the fibular collateral ligament and here is the medial collateral ligament also known as the tibial collateral ligament.